We had to move from the Bertalanfi Foundation building into the new building because it offers more space and better infrastructure for interdisciplinary neuroscience research. So these images show one of our combined electrophysiology and imaging setups. In the early days of electrophysiology, the equipment was relatively simple. An amplifier, a microscope and a micromanipulator was needed. But in these days of second generation patch clamp recording and electrophysiology, obviously not only the type of experiments becomes much more complicated, but also the necessary equipment is much more complex. So here we are performing combined electrophysiology and imaging analysis to serve the final goal of neuroscience at IST, which is examining the different levels of brain function, the molecular and cellular level, the systems neurobiology level, and finally also the behavioral level. So now the setup has been taken apart, which took approximately one day of work. Now the entire equipment is brought over into the new building. All equipment is mounted on an anti-vibration table, which is very important for these precise measurements at micrometer resolution. The basement is a sliding table, which also holds two micromanipulators, as you can see now. And now on top of that, a high-resolution microscope is mounted with a confocal head that is positioned for resolving the subcellular processes of the cells. So with these second generation recording techniques, we can not only record from the cell bodies, as was done traditionally for many years, but we can also record from fine subcellular processes, dendrites and exons of almost every neuron in the brain we can imagine. So now an additional camera is mounted and the electrophysiology rig is positioned. <laughs>